Today I'm going to talk about the late winter, early spring transition in bass fishing. Now I've got a reservoir here and as I've said in another video, the dam, this is where the dam is, is always going to be your deeper part of these reservoirs. And as you move up these arms or these fingers, you're going to get uh, shallower and shallower water. So the first areas to warm up are going to be up here in the shallower water, plus because of the the tilt of the Earth's axis at this time of year, the northern part of any lake is going to warm up faster. So this is a pretty long lake. It's well over 10 miles long. So this is this could be warming up weeks before this part. And as far as catching fish, the pre-spawn is a lot easier to catch a fish than when it's in its wintering mode. And once the fish get into the spawn mode, they're a little bit harder to catch. So you can actually run a pre-spawn pattern from this north end of the lake all the way down to the south end of the lake. As long as you're staying ahead of it, you could be fishing pre-spawn fish for maybe two, even three weeks. Because they're not all going to spawn at the same time in this lake. The fish up here are going to spawn earlier. The fish down this part are going to spawn much later. Now let's look at this from a microscopic point of view and let's zoom in to a portion of the lake. So I'm going to be down here near the dam. So these fish will be spawning later than the fish in the northern part of the lake. But just talking about this arm right here, this finger, the northern coves up here are going to be warming faster than the southern coves. So again, if I'm trying to run the pre-spawn, I'm going to fish this side first. Once I determine that these fish are not so much pre-spawn, they've moved into spawn, go fish the southern coves. And you can, again, run this pattern throughout the spring in a lake. Now, in this cove, where would you start fishing when the water is in the high 40s, maybe 50 degrees? Well, what I would do, you can see these dark areas near points. The dark area means that there's a lot of contour lines tightly packed together. So you got a fairly steep shoreline. That's very important. When the fish are coming out of the wintering mode, they tend to stay in the steeper banks as they gradually move in back into these pockets for the warmer water to spawn. And they'll hold out here. They might stay and transition there for maybe a week, 10 days, two weeks. It all depends on the weather. If the weather isn't changing much, they could stay out here and just hold. So these are some areas I would first start right along these points. Again, trying to stay on the steeper, steeper portions, all of these around here. As the fish start to move in, this is where they're going to move into spawn. And again, if you want to fish the spawn, that's fine. But this video is about fishing the pre-spawn. Again, once these fish start to vacate and start to scatter, go down and do the same thing on the southern coves because they're going to be just warming up a little bit slower than the ones north of that. So that's a couple of tips to help you with pre-spawn. Now in reservoir lakes, it's pretty easy to find points. There's points all over the place. There's coves all over the point place. Let's go to a natural lake and contrast that. I'm going to go up to Madison, Wisconsin where there's a chain of several lakes and I'm going to go to the biggest of those lakes, Lake Mendota, which is right, the state capital is right in here. And this is a good sized lake with very deep water. And you can see just looking at it, not that many points, not that many fingers compared to a reservoir. But even zoomed out this far, I bet you could probably guess where spawning should occur first. Yeah, it should be up here in the northern portion. You can tell by these contour lines, this is pretty shallow. We've got some water that's coming in from a couple of different arms or some creeks. And this should be the earlier part of the spawn. Now, can I still catch fish down in here that are going to be spawning? Yes, I can, but it could be a week or two weeks, maybe even three weeks later than these fish up here. So this is where I would first want to start exploring. But again, this video is about the pre-spawn, so I don't want to go up into here. So same thing as the reservoir. I'm looking for tightly packed lines that are fairly close to spawning grounds. So over here, 
over here and I'll zoom in a little bit more. You can see this is really steep. In fact, there's a very deep hole. I'll let this catch up and come into focus. So you've got a very deep hole. This is 80 some feet deep and this is only 10 feet deep right here. So very steep. This is probably a very typical place where a lot of fish will be staging before they start to migrate in into these shallower areas to spawn. Once they start to migrate in, the fish will spread out. Oftentimes when they're in these staging areas, they're packed up. And not all fish will move in at the same time, but roughly around 47 to 50 degrees, these fish are now are starting to think about spawning. So if I'm in the high 40s, I'd be fishing these deeper areas and probing around here. I'm always going to go in shallower just to see. Uh, these fish will make daily migrations in shallow, but if the weather isn't quite right, they'll migrate back out. So they slide back off. And this, this happens in waves. It doesn't happen all at once. Um, so this might help you with picking out strategy on how to fish or where to fish for pre-spawn fish coming out of winter, late winter, somewhere when the water is in the high 40s to 50 degree range. I hope this helps. Be sure to subscribe and we'll talk to you later.